Hello everyone! Glad to meet you all. Welcome to our very first episode of RPG Compass System tutorial series in Unreal Engine. I hope that you guys are stay safe and stay healthy these days, no matter where you are. Okay? So without further ado, let's create our project. In here, in this project, I'm gonna use the third person template with the default settings and gonna rename it as RPG Tutorial. Okay. And while we are waiting for. Oh, sorry, open up. Okay, before we go further, I would like to open up my launcher and in this whole project, I'm gonna use uh, free assets from Marketplace, which are Paragon assets and for the player character, I'm gonna use Paragon Quang. So I just need to add the project. And also I'm gonna use the other assets for the enemies. And also maybe I'm gonna use the infinity black effects for the visual effects, but we're gonna see it later. Okay. Let's set up our project. I'm gonna copy this too and create a new folder here tutorial and paste it here gonna rename it as rpg game mode and this one as main bp okay and next let's open settings project settings Gonna change our game mode into RPG game mode. And I would like to create a child blueprint and name it as a player VP. Well, I used to create a parent and child blueprints in the very beginning of my project. But you guys don't have to do the same way with me for the player character because in this tutorial we're gonna use one player character but it would be useful when it comes to the enemies because we're gonna have uh, about three enemies so parent and child blueprints are make our life easier when it comes to sharing functions and variables between blueprints so we don't have to copy or paste or rewrite it okay that's why that's why i like to use parent and child blueprint so now let's go to our key mode and change our default pawn class into player bp always and compile okay and now I don't need this one let's delete this guy but let's try it okay very good to go now let's go to our player pp and change our mesh into quang and then let's create an animation blueprint make sure that you choose quang skeleton and name it as quang anim.bp let's go back to our player bp and change our anim class into quang anim.bp Okay, now let's open up our NMBP and let's create a few variables that we're gonna use 
then dia name draft okay now uh first uh is valid make sure that you choose the question mark one and if it is valid cash to pay a and um oops let's promote it as a variable Give it as character okay now let's create our very first variable which is speed so get velocity Excel lens uh, promote a variable speed next we are gonna create a boolean variable so click drag and drop while pressing uh, control so we could get uh, our characters variable in here and get current acceleration because for our first boolean variable uh, we need to check whether our character is accelerating or not so again vector length if it is greater than zero then our character is accelerating okay the next boolean is to check whether our our character is jumping or is falling so is falling to variable is in a okay uh, next stop we need variable for our pitch and yo so try get on owner uh this in rotation rotation cat or actor cat actor rotation sorry then tell the rotator and let's break our rotator now this one pitch let's float interpolation to but this value would be our target and our current that's it let's promote it into a variable pitch and let's set it also in here delta time get work delta seconds or you guys just could uh connect it with delta time x insert speed let's say 10. okay for the yaw before we connect it into f interp 2 i'm gonna create a logic simple logic absolute if it is uh, less equal to well let's say a hundred to five select float then just copy this one this is our target way and promote it into a variable yo yo in here also 
So the reason why I set up this logic is because uh, the value of yaw is used to is usually used to rotate our character's head to the left and to the right. Okay, in real life we couldn't rotate our head a hundred and eighty degrees, right? Or we would break our neck. So in this case, it's also applied to our player character. That's why I applied this logic. First, before we go to the F inter. Okay, as we need one more. Yes, we need one more variable. Hmm. Okay, uh, we need to create a variable for our direction, so, well, uh, get velocity. Get base and rotation. Calculate direction. And promote it as a variable. Direction. Nice. Now we are good to go now, I guess. So, uh, I'll wrap up this video in here. And for the next episode, we are kind of playing around with the anim graph. So we will give our player character their animation. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the second episodes. Bye bye!